Brendan Davis from Bedrock Games and the Bedrock Blog. And today I'm going to be reviewing The Sword and the Loot, the third installment in the Temple of the Red Lotus series. I had originally intended to do this as a late night movie review last night, but I spent all day in Salem with my wife. When I got home, I was tired, and I sat on the couch to watch the movie, and I fell asleep. So I watched about 20 minutes, and then I passed out. So the movie was fine, it's just that I was uh, very tired, so... Unfortunately, I couldn't do this as a late night movie review, so I'm, I, I resumed watching today, and now I'm doing my review. So just to give you guys the, you know, the, the context again, this is the first movie, Temple of the Red Lotus. The, the second movie is The Twin Swords, and the third movie is the one that I'm reviewing tonight. So I really like this film. I think out of all three, I like the second one the best, but this was definitely a very entertaining movie. It's a very simple plot line. One of the things I really like about it is they bring, they basically set it up in advance. So even though it's a slightly different storyline than the first and second film, it kind of, I mean, some of the elements from those movies come in, but this is really kind of about uh, taking the story in a, in a different direction. And they set that up in the second films. So uh, the, the loot in this movie is the Phoenix phoenix loot which is a um which is a loot that that fires a, a like like hundreds of uh poison needles that look like they're on threads or something and it's kind of like the weapon in crouching tiger hidden dragon that cheng pei pei uses at the end when she's flying through the air and she fires all those uh those needles it's 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 a similar weapon but it's in the shape of a loot and it seems a little more deadly because it just fires this vast swath of of needles and they're just using it to mow people down so that is bestowed to Gui Wu uh, by the Scarlet Maiden in the second movie. And he's supposed to protect it. And early on in this film, he uses it against a bunch of bandits. And then people become aware of the, of, of the loot. So it gets stolen and they have to recover it. And the sword in the film is the Invincible Sword, which is uh, Zhao Ling, the little girl. It's her weapon that the grandmother gave her. It's a fairly heirloom. And... In the same way that Gui Wu uses the the loot a little bit flamboyantly when he shouldn't, she uses the the sword and attracts attention to herself, and it gets stolen as well. And so that's the you know that's basically the plot line. There's more to it than that, but that's sort of why it's called the sword and the loot. And uh, and 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 the overarching plot is about recovering these items. The now the focus in this one is much more on. Gui Wu, uh, Lian Xu, his wife, and Zhao Ling, the little girl. Uh, I think that works. I, 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 I said with the second film, I really like that they did the complete family. Uh, but I also, I, I think with those three characters, they really carried the movie well. It's pretty evenly split between the heroic couple and the little girl. And the little girl in this, like I mentioned in the last movie, she's kind of like an Arya Stark type character. So she's, I don't know how old she's supposed to be, but she's like eight or nine or something. Maybe a little older than that, and she's going around cutting people down and and doing all this crazy stuff. So it's you know it's 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 uh, again this was made in 1967. I can't think of a movie from that period that I've seen where they have a little kid doing that kind of stuff. So I think even more than an Arya Stark character, this is something that would have probably been striking at the time. But I don't I don't know for sure. But I just know I've never seen anything like it. Um, and the uh, and again, the couple is played by Jimmy Wang Yu and Ching Ping, and they do a great job. The Scarlet Maiden returns as a uh, you know it, it, um, played by Ivy Ling Po, and and she, you know she I think she has maybe a little bit more of a, an important role in the third movie than the first and the second. Um, I was trying to count her screen time; it felt like she was on camera longer than in the first two, but uh, but she's still more of a background character in this one. And they, uh, the villains in this are the Flying Tigers, which is a, a group of bandits, and they, and I thought they were really well done. They, um, uh, I think Lily Ho played the uh, the bandit leader's daughter, and she's kind of she's kind of like one of the main bad guys in this one. So it was I, I was entertained, uh, you know, by this film. I I really enjoyed it. Uh, again, I think the second one is definitely the best one. But but this this did not disappoint me. The sword play I thought the sword play in the second one again was probably better than the the number one and better than this one. And I don't know what it was. I liked the sword play in this one, but I just felt like the the second one just felt a little bit more energetic to me. 
Um, but there's a lot of battles in this and there's a lot of, um, there's, there, there's, there's a lot of sort of development and you're never bored and, and they, and they do a good job of sort of keeping you guessing about some of the characters and stuff. So this is, uh, a very engaging movie and, you know, I, I had a, I had a really pleasant time watching it and I'm looking forward to watching it again. I highly recommend the whole series. I, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen it before. So I was, um. And it's and again, it's one that I probably you know should have watched ages ago, but I haven't. And and I and I, I really enjoyed it. I think uh, I think I think that the um, that Ching Ping and Jimmy Wang Yu have a lot of chemistry as a couple, so I think that really helps carry it. I think that uh, the Zhao Ling character is a really interesting surprise, and the whole sort of uh, family dynamic just really works. So I I. I um, I, I, I just think it's a, it's, a, it's a great series and in the in the first and the second one in particular with the uh, with the temple itself they just do a great job with the settings and locations this one's got a little bit more of an on the road type feel to it there there are some nice set pieces in it as well and and you do get to see more of the martial world in this one so in the first one everything is very much limited to the uh, and depending on which uh, subtitles you get, it's like either Jin or Gan family. But the the Gan family and the and the um, the Temple of the Red Lotus. And this one, you get to see the the flying tigers, but you also get to see a bunch of other martial groups uh, as the villain tries to assemble them and, and kind of rule over them with the uh, with the Phoenix Loop. So uh, so yeah, so I I, I I was was very very happy with this one. I wish I was a little bit more alert but i'm unfortunately not well rested so uh so i'm afraid my my thoughts are maybe meandering a little more than normal but um uh, but this was yeah this was a good movie and so i'll probably be back on uh fairly soon i got a bunch of films that i i i'm, I'm watching right now one of them that i'm looking forward to reviewing is one is a movie called bloody parrot uh i'm, I'm also going to be uh uh getting back i remember i mentioned a while ago that i was going to talk about the police story movies and i've just been meaning to do it i and i i just uh i just haven't uh i i got I, I don't know why i just um i i just haven't been been up for the full recap of the of the police stories so um so yeah so i'll, I'll be back online i've been very busy with Ogregate, and that's why i'm posting quite as much i have a um i i just finished the layout so everything's all set we're all ready to go and I have some other exciting news about Ogregate that I'll share when I'm ready. Uh, actually, a couple of exciting news items on Ogregate. Um, so, yeah, and, and until then, I'm just going to be, you know, again, I, I, I'm really enjoying doing these movie reviews. So I'm going to just keep at it with these. And I'm going to be trying to find films that I haven't seen before. I got a giant stack of films that I've seen. And I can, I can review those, but I really want to review films that I haven't seen and I think that'll be more interesting for people so um so that's you know one of the reasons why I did Temple of the Red Lotus and uh and I, there have been a couple of other movies that I've I've done that I that are not um that are not rewatches for me so so anyways I will let you go and until then have a nice day